So on Friday, I talked to uh, eight different startup founders one-on-one. -on -one. They spent 15 minutes with me, uh, and we talked about how they were communicating about what they're up to, talking about uh, their family, talking about their friends, and other startup founders. So for the last couple of weeks, I've been talking about operation scale supply and the need to get to 285 million tons per year of carbon dioxide removed by 2030. And the biggest factor that we can control is our ability to learn and then share what we learn. And what I'm, what I'm founding it, finding is in talking with these founders is like, one, what they're learning is freaking incredible. The deals you guys have taken on, the, 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 the tech that you're developing, the, the engineering that you're doing, what you are making out of literally almost nothing and turning it into something is incredible. What you're learning is incredible. And for the most part, everybody's learning it by themselves, either, either by themselves as a, as a founder or by themselves as, as their team working on the, the solution. What I'm seeing is uh, these teams are pretty isolated. Sometimes they're negotiating with the same people or they're, you know, they're all fundraising or they're all working on selling off takes uh, and they're not talking with each other. Uh, and the challenge I have is that in terms of the pace of learning that we need for carbon removal is immense. It is more than will be accomplished by you going out and, and, and learning it firsthand. The, the speed of improvement that we need is to discover the wheel, but then not reinvent it so much. We need a Manhattan project for reversing climate change. And right now we have are a bunch of little, very inspiring, very powerful projects, but they don't have that same level of synchronization needed to actually accomplish the task at hand. Uh, so what I see is possible is for us to unleash not just that learning, which I'm saying is happening, but the sharing that isn't happening. We have 2,500 people in Airminer Slack. That's what we built Airminers for. We have these, we have regular online events. We just graduate our 150th team from Airminers Launchpad. We have people that have raised a million dollars up to hundreds of millions of dollars. They've sold $100 worth of carbon ruble credits up to hundreds of millions of dollars in carbon ruble credits, right? What we've learned is incredible, but what we've learned what we've learned individually is incredible. What we've learned as a as an industry is 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 just has so much potential to be to be unlocked, unleashed, unlocked, unlocked. Uh, so let's make April the month of founders connecting to founders. You've got some problem you're working on. You're thinking about how to solve it, and I request that you think about who has solved it or who has tried to solve it before. Email them and set up a call. That's it. That's what April is all about. And I invite you to do it this week. Get out there and talk with another CEO in carbon removal, somebody else who started a carbon removal company. Uh, and look, if you are not a startup founder in carbon removal, my request is you help two founders in carbon removal connect who otherwise wouldn't. Maybe you understand some problem that they both had or they, they faced and one of them has figured it out and one hasn't. Or maybe they both figured it out. That's what my invitation is if, for, if you're not already starting a company in carbon removal.